Greetings. So if you don't know, uh, Ashley Miznazi, she's a new reporter for the Miami Herald, and she uh, comes um, with impressive credentials. She got had something like a, a fellowship or something with a climate change organization. So she's the climate change writer now for the Miami Herald. Uh, so I'm actually going to reach out to her with this video. Uh, Ms. Miznazi, thank you for your article trying to help people understand how it could be so hot. Uh, I've been working the polls uh, here at the Coral Gables Public Library. You can see my candidate and the volunteer for the, you know, ever since the early voting began. So what stands out, uh, it's like uh, campaigning inside an oven, right? Uh, when it wasn't we finally had a couple of thunderstorms, which is the normal for August, but um, we've had close to two weeks of early voting, and the other days it's uh, intimidatingly hot, and I even went out to Kendall Regional Library, and it's uh, just as hot. So merely to go out and hand out uh, you know, voter cards or whatever, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just an unusual and bizarre circumstance. And, and it has to be, I, th I would guess, part of this whole thing about the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, saying that we've moved from global warming to global boiling. 